How do they prepare to do that? In my like ideal world, when a client comes in and has a kickoff with us, they have all their creative assets organized and ready for us to use. So like photos, copy, and I know that we have writers on our team, but again, the client knows their business best. So if they have like key phrases that really communicate their brand, any like colors that they love, pictures they love, like anything that we can use as an asset to really make the project personalized, if they could have that ready to go for us, so we don't have to go looking for it. That would be like one of the main, one of the main things that I would like. I would, yeah, I agree. I feel like it's like if you and I were building a house, we're not going to call a builder and say, you know, just hook us up with the new house built. I'm sure we'll love it. <laughs> right. Right. That's so true because we would probably be disappointed because we have unspoken expectations and those unspoken expectations can also come into play when creating a website. Yeah. What do you think causes the biggest delays in uh, project timelines? Having to hunt for things, having to hunt for information or pictures or assets, because if we don't have what we need, we'll just make whoever's working on it, we'll just make a call and it could be right or it could be totally off. And if we do a bunch of work based on something that's totally off, then that really delays the process. So having that clarity and the assets at the beginning, I think, is the thing that will streamline things the most. Yeah, when you said we have to hunt for things, I was thinking we have to hunt you down to find you to give us what we need. 